I'm gonna tell you 10 free tools for YouTubers and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so real quick, I wanna let you know that nothing on this list is sponsored and these are all of the things that when people in my live streams are asking me, hey Nick, what is it that I use for this particular thing? These are the things that I'm always pointing people to. So if there's anything that you recommend that is not on this list, make sure that you leave it down in the comments below to help other people that are gonna watch this video. I also wanna mention that if you are a regular viewer here on the channel, there's some things on this list that you may know about and I've also got some new stuff on here that I've never mentioned on my channel before. So don't go anywhere yet. Number one on this list is for making thumbnails because a lot of people are like, hey, you know, I wanna make awesome thumbnails but I don't know Photoshop. I don't know how to use all this fancy software. Help me make something simple. Canva.com is that simple tool that you can use to make awesome thumbnails that are nice and classy and they're not cluttered and they look really good. Now, Canva has tons of really cool templates for free. If you want, you can pay just a little bit more and then that's gonna open you up to even more templates, more fonts, more additional things that you can use. But really, just starting out the free version is definitely going to get you covered. Next up on the list is the Creator Studio app by YouTube. You put this in your phone and it allows you to do comments on the run. If you have to make any changes to your metadata, your title description or anything, you can do it all on your phone using the YouTube Creator Studio app. Creator Studio is the official name for it now when you're looking. But here's a really cool thing about it. It's gonna let you manage your comments on the go. Instead of having to go into the YouTube app and actually go into each video to see the comments that you have, inside of the Creator Studio, it groups everything together. So if you have a video that you made three years ago and it just got a comment on it, you're gonna know about it. If you have a video that you made an hour ago and just got comments on that, it's also gonna be mixed in there. So it's mixing all of the comments from all of your videos together. So you have one central place where you can manage your community comments. You can also see your stats in there, which is a big plus. I'm a big fan of keeping an eye on my 48 hour real time stats. It's just an obsession that I have. But it's important that you know one bad part about the Creator Studio app is don't get dependent on that solely for your stats because the stats are limited. And in order to get like the real deep stuff, you're gonna have to log in from a computer. Next up on the list is the Monday app. Now Monday just got introduced to me recently and I am absolutely loving it. It's free to use. They have a content calendar template in there, but you can add all these additional notes to it to make it really personalized to make sure that everything works around how you like to do things. I'm, I'm obsessed with this thing right now. Now, Monday is free if you are using it, but as soon as you go to add somebody else to it, like let's say that you have a friend or you have somebody in your team that you're trying to give access to so that they can see what's going on with your content, when things are gonna need to be released and so on, then you're gonna have to pay in order to actually give them access to the app or to the desktop version. Next up on the list, because I get asked about it all of the time, is the YouTube audio library. People are always asking me, hey Nick, you know, where do I get free music for my videos? Where do I get music that I don't have to worry about copyright headaches for free? Well, that free place is the YouTube audio library. It's all done by YouTube, it's all managed by YouTube, but just keep in mind, the only drawback from this is that some of the songs in there do require credit. So make sure that if you go in there that you are either one, picking songs that don't require credit, or two, you are giving the proper credit when necessary. But either way, it's free. Next on the list is Snapseed. Now, thumbnails are crazy important on YouTube. They are so important. It's so important to make sure that you are having thumbnails that are vibrant in color, that you have contrast, that you have, that you just make them pop, right? That you make them look good. Having doll photos and things like that just aren't cutting it on YouTube anymore. Snapseed is gonna allow you to fix that problem by making your thumbnails quickly and easily awesome. My brother D actually made an entire video about how to use Snapseed to really make things look awesome. I'll put a link to that right up here at the top of the screen. Next on the list is the free version of TubeBuddy. If you're not a TubeBuddy user yet, TubeBuddy is the number one browser plugin for YouTube content creators. It can help you learn how to get views. It can help you learn how to rank your videos. It can help you manage your channel and all types of really awesome stuff, but they have a free version. It's limited, but it's a free version and I highly recommend that you pick it up. I've got a link down in the description below so you can test out TubeBuddy for yourself to see the features that it has and what it can do for you. Google Docs, now look, Google Docs is super underrated. For me personally, if I'm on my phone, then I'll use Google Docs. If I'm on my computer, I'll use Google Docs. If I'm on my tablet, I'll use Google Docs because 
I'm mixing up PCs with Apple devices. So because of that, the workflow gets a little bit weird, but Google Docs helps me fix that problem by keeping everything in the cloud with Google. You know, I just went into the other room to grab some tin foil to make a hat out of because of what I just said, but this is all I could find. So it's plastic wrap, I'm just not gonna do it. But anyway, Google Docs is awesome. Now, if you are mixing PC stuff with Mac stuff, then what you can do is you can also have your Google Doc and then you can open up your iCloud on your computer to where you just copy in your Google Doc into your iCloud and then it's gonna sync up to your device. And then once it's synced up to your device, then you can pass it on to your other device in order to be able to sit there and see the bullet points that you wrote out or whatever. It's a little bit of a long way around, so to speak, but it gets the job done. Streamlabs OBS is another free tool. This one's for live streaming and it is absolutely amazing. I make a lot of videos about Streamlabs here on this channel. I actually put a link right up here to a playlist of Streamlabs videos, but it's incredible. All of the things that you can do, all the features that are built into it to help you make your live streams awesome and to do it easy. Now, just like everybody else, of course, they do have some pro features. So if you do want to upgrade, the option is definitely there for those, but you can just use the base free version and you'll be fine. It's just, it's incredible. You got to give it a shot. Now, if you want to take that whole thing up a notch, another tool that is awesome, because I get tons of people asking me, hey, Nick, what should I use to stream on my phone? Now, if you are using the YouTube app in order to stream on your phone, it gets the job done. But if you want to have chat on there and you want to have the subscriber alerts and all that stuff, just like desktop streams do, then your solution for that is definitely the Streamlabs mobile app. I made an entire app on the Streamlabs mobile app so you can see how cool it is. I'll put a link to it right up here so you can go check it out if you're interested. Now, you're probably gonna beat me up for this next one just because you're gonna be like, hey, Nick, it's not a tool and whatever. But in reality, it is a tool. It's an educational tool and it's the YouTube Creator Academy. It's also free, but basically what it is, it's created by YouTube and it tells you the ins and outs of what they expect for you here on YouTube, how to actually do all of the stuff that's gonna help you get views and subscribers here on YouTube. And if you really wanna get things cooking here on YouTube, it's important that you understand the platform that you're trying to succeed on. Now, the most important tool on this list is YouTube Analytics. Now, the reason this is so important is because just like the Creator Academy, like if you're gonna be on this platform and you're gonna be trying to figure out how to get success here on YouTube, well, you gotta learn how to use the analytics. You gotta learn what's working, what's not working, what you can do, what you shouldn't do and all that based on how your audience is responding to things. If you're not arming yourself with that information, then you're doing a disservice to yourself. So get into your YouTube analytics, learn how all of this stuff works. I've got a video that's gonna be coming out on the analytics, some of the most important things that you need to keep an eye on. So keep an eye out for that, of course. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.